day. <laughs> right. Then I for run. Eh. Yeah. Just because okay. I jump out of my car. Oh, really? We are for run car. And, and he gave the car to an Okada driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some Okada rider. We just see bike in the bike. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you, thank you. Take your breath. Take your deep uh, breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your deep breath. While I read some tweets. Uh, Adiba says, oh, Andy Dustin, nice song, but why did he give that title for life? For life, he's saying. And I'm sure he made the song for his wife and he can't deny that. Hey, because he go for us, so. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> but is that true, though? Oh, yes. Yeah, like, obviously, like, you know, that's the woman in my life. So it was inspired by her. Oh, yeah. wow. So shout out, shout out. Love. The boy is in love. <laughs> shout out who? Charlie, how you good doing? <laughs> he said shout out, shout out who? Yeah, shout, she knows. Life. Like, to wifey. Yeah. For life. Of course. For life. For life. You know what we talk for life? For life is You for can't life. say for life. Nana <laughs> 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 Kwesi says, what mom and dad couldn't do, I grab that did it with just a touch. You go cut the hair. It's a miracle. Why did you be Nana Gada? Oh, yeah, Michiano. Eh? Yeah. So, oh, you know. Yeah. Feel like they. I mean, your man self right. talk something about that. That'd be, that'd that'd be, be one, slow. Yeah, well, that'd be one of the things that I, when I talked about it, I think when I got a call from Chris's dad, I retracted that. But it was a joke. It was just a joke. For, for real, it just be joking. Mr. Danso called you? Yeah, Mr. Danso called. So it was very just. Very nice, man. Very, very extremely fat, Charlie. Big ups to old boy. Yeah. We, we spoke at length, like. Because his dad is. Uh, Charlie, Highly, super, super, super yeah, awesome. Too like, much. Too even much. this morning, he sent me a message. Like, constantly, he's on my phone. Too and much. he's checking on my son, like, yo, how is he doing? Yo, so, yo, how about his results? Okay, about we, school. If we get puppy like this, and I Kwesi, <laughs> Kwesi, you, my son is like, Kwesi is like, that's his idol. Strange. Kwesi, know they check on him. He being grand puppy, way they check on him. <laughs> no being puppy. <laughs> I've given you a son to father. But you know, say so usually it'd be the grandpa piece way they show the kiddies more. My friend, come up for that. Be your, your son, like yo, that's your son, yo. Take him through it. Ah, my son's birthday. Kwesi surprised him. Chale come see the day that they rap, then they do competition. Bass. Chale bass, oh. Bass and kwa. If you're a Kwesi a dog, you know. Oh no, I never so handy. Okay. For real, for real. Uh, let me continue. Boomer Zagoma says, and it was my own time because the other song is pain. The song I mean, is like, deep. DJ Slim no end No, oh no, about I said like that. Oh no, no, he mentioned the, about that. Did that to, how to track mm. It was just a joke. Adiba says, Kwesi is trying to tell us that his strength does not depend on his hair. He's not Samson. <laughs> tell him there for mind. And yet three me. Yeah, Kwesi Samson. Yeah, you find that name. <laughs> Uh, Bobby says, Dusty man, Andy, this is not the tape two, uh, tape three there, and one track nine. Make a way to dope. Hey, make a way to people they request for umpire. 95 volunteer says, Andy, please, we the librarians want to find out if Kwesi, this is not the tape three, is library friendly. Oh, yeah, we for discuss some for the library. Kwesi uh, has never been on the library. 95 volunteer says, it looks like our boy Kwesi has turned to America, yeah? Then the former Yubab thing, very interesting to hear him again. Yeah, he stopped you, Bob. <laughs> Darling, I'm just said, please tell him we love him and his music. Thoughts, King Arthur, much love. Uh, Benjamin Clinton says, Andy, one question to Kwesi Arthur. What got him to record Pray For Me and he would do, will he do a record like that again? Um, I think it was inspired by what I was going through at the time. Yeah. So, I, I can't make another record like it, you know, because then I go through the different heart. experience. Yeah, and like that was tailored particularly to that. Yeah, but if I'm inspired to make a record that hits him the same way, yeah, like sure. Mm. Jokot says, um, Empress Menfion, the man wished his wife was sexy like you. If you dress Richard too, is okay, okay. I think this for Empress, uh, Empress Gifty. She came in a bit earlier. Tyrus Ajman says, Andy, this is the one song I would love to be locked on up on some island for 30 billion for a month or two, Charlie, for life, man. Okay. Slim. Godfather. Mm -hmm, Chris, he's all yours now. Yeah, yeah Charlie. That's my broski, though. People don't know that my, my second DJ Slim invasion where I do, this man came through for me. Oh, really? Charlie, you know, take one CD self. Wow. Anyway, they take one CD and a dream, you do show, you know, take one CD self, and that's all love. And I think... My, Maybe you know how I put certain things out on socials and things. Maybe he 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 might 
see them in a certain way. But most of the things we have put out on my YouTube channel, Godfather, it comes from people in the industry and you know how it is. Like in our business, I can get a scoop of something, right? And with a scoop, I might try to dig and find out what is really going on. It's not that I don't do that for every artist, but I do that for the people that I'm concerned about. Mm. So if I'm logged in on Kwesi, it's Kwesi that I go, I'm, I go dig on now. So why I do editorial on Kwesi Atta in the first place? On social media, I realized that so many people were pushing some agenda. Where Kwesi did? Where Kwesi did? And I'm like, Charlie, this guy too is super talented. He's one artist. If he did sing, he did be. If he did rap, he did be. Why is that great? Too much. Nessa be out there be who. Who did any more? Who did any who? So I'm sitting there thinking that yo, what are some of the things that we we can do to get this artist back? into the studio and it was like it wasn't like he wasn't dropping song he was dropping song but you feel the heat whenever you drop a song as an artist and that's like this is that strong machine pushing it and all that and like charlie it's not happening what's going on with my artist what's going on with my guy you can't say he's your guy now they say don't say he's my boy my guy you can't say that <laughs> or you don't get him yet i get him oh you get some i get him. okay but what's going on with Kwesi? because i love this guy so much no homo and Charlie, the bill, they, they can't pass the bill. Yeah, for... <laughs> so, boss, what's a day? No, I said, no. Let me link up to a couple of people who know who know inside. And no, I read... so you got the filler. Yes, I got so, so, Charlie, the info I get, then you be too deep. But I decided to explain because it was triggered by Twitch in tweet. So, I was trying to, in my editorial, trying to explain why Twitch put out that. I explained and I explained that actually. If if you people really don't know all this info, that'd be why Kwesi too also slow down on a certain level because contract issues they plenty. So don't put too much pressure on him because right now where he did, he did a job. You get it right. He did a job. He did some cool place where and you no cry and you cry debut because looking at the issues where the guy is going through. But unfortunately, there was a twenty second crop or twenty one second crop. Of the whole editorial that was put out, and the people was ah, any slim sequence at a and that was it. People never watched like the whole thing. Oh my hill, keep one on a mock of a tour because even the whole tape wasn't about because it was about Twitch. You understand? I see, say my mom put say he be cap. Well, I stand to be corrected, of course. If it be info where I get, it will be right, it will be wrong, but. I did a second editorial and I was saying that reasons why would somebody like myself would say Kwesi Sean music. You know, be say Kwesi go can't tell me say Sean. Because Asem never told us say Sean. Until the weather channel coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> and these are some of the things that I believe industry players like ourselves will need to be make sure because like artists, you know, artists, we have a contract with the artist. Say you go put music out and we go support them. So at any given point in time, the artist decides say, you know, go do again. It'd be breach of contract. And could it be one artist I really de see hate towards him. I never see hate towards him. Nobody, me name, nobody they hate him. So if somebody talks something about him and all of a sudden it's, it's deemed as hate, then are they worry small? Because imagine if we had put Asem on the same pedestal, like on the same check, put him in check, say, yo, bro, you know, go feel level. Because things way, I mean, boss, we did, you did the industry. Things way, the surrounding movement and things. So most of them were hearsay, hearsay, plenty hearsay. So I'm saying that, yo, number one, if you drop an album as big as Son of Jacob with the world class features, Charlie, some of the endorsement way that album gets. I mean, Madden 23 had winning on it, right? Yeah. It, I, yo, start the promo run, all the thing quench. I say, yo, what they going? Charlie. Artist way they know they Ghana, Bosu. It's extremely hard for you to activate your music. Our system has proven time and time. Like I'm, I'm trying to find in recent times an artist who's been successful in doing that, like activating the music from afar. I stand to be. We both just go chop your money. I stand to be corrected. Maybe Kwesi Gofi break that thing. You understand? But Ebiniho, until if your favorite artist is doing that, you get scared. Say Charlie, I didn't know Utakobi dropped the song, big banger. But Uniha. 
the promo no very slow. Somebody go take the money. I they go do promo. Obedi, obe who no know bomo ani sake ho chili kwa do chicken wings. And all the bone no. Where is some honey? Ah, origin any. So I was I did that editorial to explain further, but I just realized that the that small seconds of them we go out. That be what people they use right. And I don't know how crazy feels personally about that because I'm thinking. It's up to us to talk about the industry. We generate conversations around the industry. We talk about the songs. We talk about the personalities behind the songs. We talk about the music. BBI, I will say, I can't want some. It's our industry. But then I felt like I feel say, okay, the backlash, maybe they understand them because we still follow each other on social media. I know he's been in the business for, for a minute, so what I say. But then on social media, I realized that it also generated a lot of conversations. That is pushing the music and that is what we want that is what i want i want that thing to happen people know for sleep on any talent for this country inside we tire one two boss will be a faco and bossu yankee me then you we know last time i'm a question okay to be a man say me you can't maybe you know me you can't know me you maybe was so bina or maybe we two food session or Maybe Then if you call my name, self, I know they hear. Ah, <laughs> 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 the I know they hear. <laughs> but I realized that Charlie, at the end of the week, Charlie, some cool dollar big of you hit the account. What I say? What the call? What the term? Look, I show one one. What me nya number be? And I'm thinking, Charlie. Mm, yeah, me, uh -huh. <laughs> the flexibility of life and the comfortness that way they there, boss. Chances say your mind will feel switch be hard and. And yeah, and yes, I won't wait take a decision. You know, it's like a bono. Yeah, and then and I'm like, yo, no, because he can't do that to us. Bro, when you drop grind day, you know what happened in Kumasi. When you drop that track, badness. Okay. Badness. Everybody loves you. Right. Now, Kwesi at a point mentioned that some of the comments you made on your uh, in your editorial, yeah. you felt they were a bit slow. Yeah. Oh, but Andy, I wanna talk. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So, you know, who, whatever source you they get your information yeah. from, like, I don't think it's reliable enough, you know, like who? those people you know they tell you the truth, basically, you know, and saying like, I they work for some, like, that's not true. I've been working on music, you know, all I these songs, all these songs on this, this project and like way other songs I have for my next project. I was working on it out there, mm -hmm. you know, so that's like totally false, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, like in regards to like I can't be compared to some like I can't be compared to Asem, you know, like we all we get different stories, yeah. you know. And I they go back and forth. There's been instances where I've spent so much time out there, but I haven't been like where I wasn't here, mm -hmm. you know. But I never hear say people they talk about them. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel say the people we they spoke to you about it, they probably have like their own personal vendettas mm -hmm. against me We they know they talk, you know, so that'd be oh, slow. Okay, okay, so do you feel that the editorial that I did was like bad, like in towards your brand or something like oh i feel say it was spreading like falsehood about it like saying say i did work we if i did work for there we are making money like i don't i'm not gonna come back home you know and like say me i quit music i never for one said i quit yeah, yeah. music i never even thought about quitting music but was it, did did you ever watch like the the editorial the oh i watch them the two yeah. of them I watched the first one. You never watched the second one? No, so I haven't then, watched the second yeah, yeah. one. So I understand. I understand. I understand what it is. But, bro, from the bottom of my heart, if anything that I said about you, I mean, I'll, I'll take the, uh, I'll grab that thing back. That one wasn't in a good place. And I said it in the editorial that I take it back. It was just a joke, just pure joke. Because you know, you know the relationship. If you never had any type of, you know, good heart towards my brand and what my brand stands for, you wouldn't have, you know, dropped that, I drop down to Kumasi to perform for me for free. Yeah. You understand? So anything that I talk in there, if at any point in time you feel it was helpful towards your brand, I'll take it back. But these are things that I've, I, I've been through it. I've been in the industry for 17 years and I've seen it happen over and over and over again. Like artists take some break. Then if you say, okay, yeah, cool. You go clear in mind. Then uh, I say, well, I start TV, be back with be Then you go drop some song, be hit one DJ up. Charlie, help me push him. You they push her, then it goes slow down again. Then after a year or two, we've seen it over and over again. And that is not what I want to happen. Like see happen to Kwesiata. Yeah. Well, Kwesiata, young king. I don't want to see that happen to Kwesiata. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. But like, yeah, that's that's not me. Actually, like I did here now. Yeah. Yeah. And we for a day. 
Yeah, we for day, we for do one. Push the music. Yes, yeah, we go do one. We go push them. That's the vibe. Okay. Ah, uh, Adam. Gentlemen, <laughs> I enjoy the conversation. Okay, then. No, we, okay. Okay. <laughs> what the idea here? I got your body watching grasser. Oh, Andy. Oh, oh like I say. You see, Adam. Adam. You but, but, see, Bozu, make a make a end with this. Eh, I think the. I know, I know. Kwesi doesn't want to talk about it because he's spoken to a larger extent about the relationship between him and ground up and i believe it's one of the things that industry needs to pay close attention to sometimes the heat might be coming in from management sometimes the heat might be coming in from artists because when i did this editorial i can show you screenshots of some of people like dms of some of the people from ground up that hit me up including big homie flea hit me up it was like he also wants to say something and and my sources not among like i talked to solo sources no be somebody i know say or ground that might have some heat towards you or something but like different different sources and the ground up they be a info from uh, me like they are from ground up like <laughs> every day dms no then two they won't talk some then two they won't talk them i think be like are they talk favor we see we see to say are they talk favor some people i'm like yo this is what i heard so the real issue i believe should be out there so that as we did document them in three months or so, film BB. I I believe that because contract issues are serious, and I I think it's high time we pay close attention to it. Mm. If it kill artists, it can kill business. Because when Kwesi is moving right now, there are so many people that are eating off Kwesi's brand. A A Y for you, cry to post. There are so many people. Me YouTuber self, I they eat for man. You understand? So. Yeah. Oh yeah, hey, question, question, where you are? Hey, for pay taxes, so. <laughs> ten and a fifteen. Well, slim, yeah. slim, because his fans are coming for you. They say you should rather apologize to him on your. I've oh, done you it in this. In that's why I say, from the second editorial. On on, on street is watching. It has been like a month. Oh really? Oh, a month. Oh, so, I think I saw I saw that apology one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that. Over a month ago. So the timelines way I they talk about people got it wrong because I'm um, 21 second video. No? This is what he did. I put out a tweet that I just spoke to Chris's dad, right? And the information that I'm getting be quite, you know, disturbing and I want to apologize on certain things. So I, pu I put out that tweet. What happened was my brother Kudu Sheldon did his own editorial and I'm um, on the timelines. Boom. So it became like after Slim spoke to Chris's dad, and we see Papa catch Slim say we see maybe him. That is that is where they got it wrong. So Sheldon put out that headless YouTuber put out that. So a couple of YouTubers put out that information. Too. But then it was after I did the first video that was when we see that saw it. And no Freddy, you know I can't go into the details. But then we had a lengthy conversation. That is when I put the tweet out. So what I said was based on me, my conviction. Nobody gave me that information. I don't want people to get that thing out there say obi oh, oh, na information no i said it myself the quit music no? and i could say it's false and i came back to apologize simple kill us let's see here okay so that's it um more comments i don't please i'll come back so let me read these ones quickly because this fans are calling for an apology from slim on the street is watching 30 times if they want because we see my guy he be my guy. Okay. We all know. And it's for life. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say for life. Oh, but it did this. It be it's song for title. Die. It's for die. <laughs> <laughs> it be crazy I'm tie in song title for life. What, 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 what was David? Were, were you on David O's album tour? Um, so I was on the uh, what's it called? Um, the show stop in Atlanta. Yeah, at the State Farm Arena. Yeah, I was there. And then also like I opened up, yeah. and that one too like. People did, were saying all sorts of things about it. Like and what? Then, oh, and I. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you you got to you got to explain that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so that. like people, they talk say, oh, nobody did a stadium. Oh. Then oh. it be slow. Then, bro, like all sorts of things. But that was, there were people actually there, you know. And I talk say, yo, if two people save day there, like two me, four, I go perform. Three, it because them my boy are all American arena, like a whole big ass arena, like. I think it was it was good for 
my music as well you know to be able to open for someone like davido who has a much larger audience which i am working on tapping into as well yeah <laughs> some of these comments so when you see them what does it affect your next performance i saw you in in around the dmv area there was a, a concert recently yeah um what was it rolling coco coco right yeah so these kind of co comments do they affect you um well see upon seeing it you know it's very annoying and frustrating you know but yeah i don't let that take me into my next performances you know like before every show i just psych myself and i practice with my djs and yeah just hope to give the people who show up and like pay to see us like their money's worth and entertain them as much as possible you know so i don't let that affect my performances mm. and then yeah <laughs> it's it's really interesting it's it, it's part of the game i mean it gets to a point where certain things come out to to, to your surprise and like uh attribution theory says now when things happen and it's like we do not really have explanation as to why it has happened. People try to attribute it to their own, I mean, understanding, their own idiosyncrasies. They they try to figure things out themselves and attribute certain things to. So it is why some of these things happen. I mean, they don't uh, get what is happening, but they, they have, and the fans too, I mean, they see you perform, regardless of how it goes, you know, there are some who, some are saddest, they will come and make negative comments, even if the thing is positive. So, I mean, don't let it weigh you down. Focus on the positives and you, you see the bigger picture of where you want to get to. So, I mean, the focus should be on the bigger picture so that at the end of the day, when you get to that point where you are showing you working, they will say, wow, the guy did it. So... I mean, just focus. You have an amazing project, and I know, I mean, this project can take you to the next level. So, uh, focus a lot of attention on it, and ensure that it gets to every corner where people need to hear it. Finally, I want to. I mean, education is very important. Music business and other things. Up and coming artists are there. People are setting them on among other things. I mean, from your experience, from other deals and other, what is that one advice that you will give to these up and coming artists? Um, what I'll say is like, you should know what you want to do. Like you should know what you want to do, how you want to be represented, even before you get into an arrangement with anybody, you know, and like make sure you have like legal counseling, like get proper legal counseling before you put pen on paper on anything, you know? Yeah, don't just let your desperation or your urge to be like put you read on, the yeah, they push be, you. They be you now. Yeah. Make you not make that like push you to like just go be in any mm. arrangement. Give it to a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make yeah. you look at them. Yeah. yeah. And like just believe in yourself. Let your confidence come from within. You know. Yeah. Believe. Say you go feel do on. You know. Yeah. And and some of your fans are definitely yeah definitely affected by some of these things. I mean, going around uh, now the project is here. You are here. I mean, it's like your first. I mean, interview since some of these people. Are, what are you telling them? Oh, well, I'd say like thank you guys for supporting me. I they see say yeah some of like a lot of them still, you know, they go out for me. They push my music. They support me. So I'd like to say thank you guys so much. Keep supporting the music. Keep supporting the mu movement. More music be on the way. Yeah, so watch out. And this is not the tape three. It's out now on all platforms. Make sure you check it out. Put other people on. Thank you so much. Right. Uh, Ria, please. Oh, um, for me, when um, I'll, I'll be honest, when I saw the performance with the the Davido performance, okay, I was a bit worried because I didn't see you as that vibrant dude that i knew that that's my opinion like i know could see other to be that guy that commanded presence on stage and all that but then when i saw you you seemed it's not like you're not performing well but you seemed a bit dull for me but now listening to you it's more or less like i know where you're going 
like not going through like i know where you're going to and i know maybe you are evolving in your talent and you are evolving as a musician so um i'm not worried about you anymore and kudos to you you're doing well the new um it's not an ep right so this is not the tape three yeah, it's great. actually banging so congratulations thank you martinez yeah, it yeah. <laughs> Mexico. It's good to have you back actively. Um, you've explained actively. Yeah, you've explained the reason why you weren't actively in the space, and I think it makes sense. Um, sometimes you take a break to work behind the scenes and you know sort things out. There are so much that goes, you know, um, to be in a brand. I mean, um, sometimes you have to go through a lot of things, but you are back. And for me, I don't think you are one artist who will even take a break, come back and struggle for a space. You know, there are artists who take, you know, some break when they come back, you know, getting that attention, getting that hit or recognition becomes very difficult. But you have paid your dues and the love is deep for you. I have been on a show where um some of the pundits and even the hosts suggested that we should pray for you because it looks like <laughs> something is um, hindering your your career because such a talent such a great artist i mean ah we can't have quesiata of the scene and it might be funny but it tells how people are concerned about you and we don't know what actually is going on but when you released for life it's like yo you are back and fair, 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 fair. i mean the 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 tip three the songs so far what i've heard charlie it shows that you didn't go to sleep you were rather working very hard so just keep up once we are back i mean um it's good to have you where we've reached as an industry we need quesiata to help project the game to that global stage where we want to be. I mean, you are doing more for us and you are an icon for the youth as well. So I don't think you've lost your space at all. No, 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 no. I, I don't see that. Um, I don't see any struggle. And with what Slim said, it's all about love. I mean, no hard yeah. feeling. Yeah. So, uh, but, but so I'll be like, I, did, I did see some comments over here and mm. uh, I'd like to address one one of them real quick. Uh, I think I've seen Kofi Moles. Uh, I don't know if he was he's referring to anything, but most of the people are like oh slim see you see food and i'm like did i ever say in my editorial say i see because i go punch him or why yeah, yeah it's like i feel people get it wrong when we talk about artists and i want to put this one out there that we are right. it's never a fight we don't have any fight it's all for the betterment of the industry but do you have any problem with kofi Mole? no 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 i just saw me i don't know i just see for the comment session inside and it's there that, that are a couple of people that are putting out that thing no because we i saw kofi Mole yeah yeah we don't if i'm fooling or something yes like so, so uh, kofi, uh, kofi Mole, my guy charlie now mm. i can't perform for me for free i mean it's all love i mean why would i have anything against anybody if entertainers or if djs or presenters sit and talk about entertainment issues and entertainment personalities i want make people understand this thing we don't have anything me there there are zero artists on my list where i talks i get Hit for ammo, I get fight with that. Ah, why I fight Kosi for? If Kosi win, it's a win for us. It's a win for me. When I say Cowboys were winning, I did Kumasi way, I get international you know, deals and all that because I'm a DJ in that region. So if Kosi is winning, he's winning for Ghana and I'm and I will benefit from him. In so it's in the chain. So it's it's a duty that I have to protect Kosi at all costs. If it's tough love that I have to put it out there, I have to put it out there. You understand? So I just want to get that thing off my chest that yo look. We don't have anything against any artist. It's our duty to talk about entertainment and talk about entertainment issues, including personalities. If you do not understand this thing in 2024, then Charlie, you for you for format your brain. We'll make a hug ACG. Yeah, go hug the nearest transformer we there by you. Kwasi? No, no. You are winning, yeah. Need it. I just hope. Uh you put all of these negatives behind you, all right. Um, what's your relationship with Blacko? You, you like, you, 